Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about the best stocks to buy right now that are trading at a major discount because of the stock market sell-off. So if you want more videos like this one, remember to go and smash that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, comment your favorite stock to buy down below right here, especially if it's discounted, and without further ado, let's just jump right into today's stories. So we're going to start off talking about how savvy investors, particularly if you are a long-term growth investor, how you're going to find great opportunities in the stock market right now because the stock market has been trending downward due to the stock market sell-off. There has been many fears regarding inflation, a bear market, rising interest rates, and a full-on recession. However, the stocks in this video are literally going to be phenomenal buys regardless of the current stock market environment, and we're going to start off with none other than one of my favorite stocks, which is Amazon, ticker symbol AMZN. And Amazon is a huge e-commerce company that allows their customers to order almost anything they want from their website platform on the internet and they also have a huge cloud infrastructure platform which brings in a lot of revenue. Right now they're currently trading at around 56 times their earnings. However as of the 5 year average multiple they normally trade at around 122 times their earnings so clearly the company is trading at a huge discount and recently the AMZN stock has slid by around 30%. So clearly this company is very affordable compared to what it was trading at. It currently trades for around $108 per share. However, very bearish negative investors think that the company is at least worth $107 per share, at least for the next 12 months. However, bullish investors think that the company could surge all the way up to $232 per share over the next year. And for me, I am buying this company because I see major growth for this stock well into the future and this is one of the stocks that I plan to hold on to for literally my entire life. Like we said earlier, this company actually controls a third of the global cloud infrastructure services market which is absolutely insane with their Amazon Web Services also known as AWS. And if we factor in that the cloud computing market is expected to grow at an annual CAGR or compounding annual growth rate of around 18% from now until 2028, it looks like Amazon is absolutely absolutely primed for more revenue growth in that particular segment. And we also have to take into consideration that Amazon is literally one of the world's largest global e-commerce businesses and the e-commerce market is set to grow at an astounding rate to where Amazon is set to grow their earnings at around a 40% compounding annual growth rate over the next five years. And anything above a 30% CAGR, either for their earnings or revenues, makes this a phenomenal company, and Amazon meets that quota. And that's why we can conclude that Amazon, or their AMZN stock, is a phenomenal buying opportunity, especially because it's trading at around a 30% discount as of right now. The next company we're going to talk about is Qualcomm, ticker symbol QCOM. And this company is a tech giant that is trading for very cheap right now. Unlike Amazon, it's trading for just 13 times their earnings. And this is a giant chip giant. And I don't mean chip as in produce, I mean chip as in technology chips. Right now, the company is trading at literally half their PE multiple, which is currently 13 like we said earlier, but their five-year average earnings multiple is 27. So they are literally trading below half of that. Also, their earnings are set to grow at at a pace of around 14% over the next five years, which is really not too bad for a very safe company such as Qualcomm. Also, if we look into the growth opportunities for smartphones, automotive, and the internet of things, Qualcomm literally has their hands in all of these various markets. Right now, the QCOM stock trades for around $129 per share. However, very bearish analysts think that the company is going to be worth around $130 for the next 12 months, which is very very similar to what the company is trading at right now. However, if the bullish positive investors and analysts are right about this company, it could surge as high as $471 per share, so that is absolutely phenomenal. The company right now controls around 30% of the global smartphone application processor market, and it's going to grow spectacularly as the entire globe moves toward adopting 5G smartphones and 5G technology. A third party actually estimates and projects a forecast that 
that the 5G smartphone market could grow by around 130% each year until 2027, which would make Qualcomm literally one of the best 5G stocks to buy right now, especially because it's trading at a major discount. The next company we're going to talk about is none other than Tesla's TSLA stock, and Tesla is an electric vehicle manufacturer, and they also do a lot of other things, but here we're going to focus on their electric vehicle manufacturing. Tesla is a massive opportunity because they are already the most dominant electric vehicle company in the entire world, and they are anticipated to hold that position for years to come. The company has already brought in very impressive revenue and year-over-year -year growth for the revenue of around 81%, which puts it at around $18.8 billion. Right now, the TSLA stock price trades for around $677. However, many investors think that the company is at minimum worth $895 and at maximum worth $1,620. And both of these price targets, according to investors, are above what the stock is currently trading, so we could say that the current stock price is trading at a phenomenal discount, which should invoke many growth stock investors to start buying companies and names like Tesla. Tesla is looking to even further increase their manufacturing capacity with their various gigafactories, and because their gigafactory in Austin, Texas is online and functioning, the company actually expects them to start producing the Model Y later on this year, which is absolutely phenomenal news. The global EV and electric vehicle market is absolutely exploding right now, and it's anticipated to clock in around 29% growth from now until the end of the decade, which is absolutely insane. And again, 29% puts us right toward that awesome category or a 30% CAGR. So it's so close and Tesla is so dominant that Tesla's revenues and earnings are set to explode, especially if you have a long run position in this phenomenal growth company. Similar to Amazon, Tesla has lost around 30% of its value as of 2022 and is trading at just 13.4 times their sales, which if we compare it to last year's multiple for their sales, they were trading at a multiple of around 25.6, so clearly the company is substantially cheaper and right now is a really good buying opportunity for this phenomenal growth stock as well as the other growth stocks that we have on this list. However, if I pop over to our next article, we're going to go into some of my favorite buys right now, especially if you are more risky. And the first company we're going to talk about is Starbucks, which sells coffee, ticker symbol SBUX. Starbucks has entered into a time of major volatility and it is growing through some painful changes right now and growing pains. However, if we look at the history of this company, clearly they have a phenomenal business model and they are fundamentally very solid. Right now, the SBUX stock price trades for around $76.53. However, very bearish naysayers think that the company is going to crash all the way down or below $65 per share. And more bullish investors think that the company is at least worth $136 per share. Now, for me, I'm somewhat in the middle, but I don't mind buying the company at a $76 share price right now because I believe in the future the company is going to be worth well over $100. Now, we do have some bad news surrounding Starbucks specifically because they have continued to close out certain regions in China, which has negatively impacted their overall business. However, right now, because Starbucks is so fundamentally solid and their business model clearly works, they are in a great place right now. I do also want to mention that they are in the process of recruiting a new CEO who can potentially lead the company into a new direction, particularly a new digitally powered direction. And because the latest news updates for this particular company have been both bullish and bearish, considering the current stock market environment, investors have decided that it's best to sell off on this company right now, which to me makes it a good buying opportunity. And that's why the SBUX stock right now is trading at around a 33% discount for this year. And astute investors could do themselves a huge favor by not only researching further into this company or at minimum putting it on a watch list, but also, in my personal opinion, buying this company because the big picture says that Starbucks is going to be around for many, many years to come. And if you invest into the company right now, you're really going to understand that stock price appreciation is going to build you wealth over the long term. Now, just like the other companies on this list, I am not advocating that you specifically should buy these companies. These are the companies that I am looking at and that I am buying right now because I think they are trading at a good enough discount where even if they fell further, I'm just going to continue to average down my average cost for these companies. And although I'm not trying 
trying to time the market because I don't know when the market is going to bounce back. I do know that eventually it will, like it has done every single time. Lastly on this list is one of my favorite discounted stocks to buy right now, down over around 70%, and that is PayPal Holdings, ticker symbol PYPL. The current PYPL share price is worth $70.91, which is below even the most critical stock price targets from investors of $82, and it's clearly below the more positive price targets of $255. Many payment processors, fintech companies, and banks have been hit relatively hard, including growth and technology stocks, which means that those are the companies we really want to focus into right now because the discounts and the multiples that these companies are trading at literally are like buying your favorite companies at a huge discount, so why wouldn't we want to do that? Now, if you didn't know, PayPal is literally trying to turn itself more into a value company right now because the majority of the growth in this particular company is basically done. However, that is not to say that the company will cease growing altogether. It just means that it's going to be more of a value play right now. And I personally love when my growth plays end up turning into future blue chip value plays because it signifies that this is a very solid company that is going to be around for literally the next four decades at least. PayPal has a fantastic culture of innovation innovation. They're constantly trying to keep up with the fiercest competition in their market, and they have done this very successfully because recently, PayPal has actually released a credit card that offers their customers 2% cash back on every single purchase. So this is just one of their innovations. Another one is they have recently announced their pay monthly checkout option, where you can buy something and then you can make monthly payments on that particular purchase instead of having all of the money up front. So clearly, they are putting in effort particularly in the buy now, pay later space, which is absolutely phenomenal because a lot of the newer developing companies are really honing in on the credit card space and the buy now, pay later space. And with PayPal already being a fantastic giant when it comes to payments, I think PayPal is going to be very successful for this. And in my opinion, the PYPL stock price has fallen so much that it's literally too cheap not to buy this company. It's trading at only 25 times their trailing 12 month earnings and I think this is a fantastic opportunity to buy a fundamentally solid company, a growth company that is turning into a value stock and I think this is going to highly benefit investors as time goes on. And as always, if you want more videos like this one, remember to go and smash that like button right now, comment your favorite stock down below, subscribe if you are new and I will see you in the next YT video.